Good evening, we're here with the uh, Junior Hockey Network here with uh, Miles uh, Nolan, Coach Strand, and my coach here, the, the Fort Frank versus Lakers. Uh, coach, can you just give us a few comments about tonight's final? Obviously, uh, not the outcome we wanted to see, but um, I don't think anyone really expected us to be here tonight, and I thought that we did a good job rising to the occasion, and and really working hard and giving it our all to, to try and win the hockey game. Um, obviously, we, Sue's a, a great hockey team. They, they play their systems very well, play with a lot of speed and, and uh, aggressive play, and took advantage of a couple of our breakdowns, and, and uh, we're fortunate enough to uh, um, get some bounces around our net and, and get the victory. So. Tough loss, um, but I don't think we need to hang our heads high. We accomplished a lot through this uh, season, and and these guys should be proud of themselves. Over the two games, uh, Pierce stopped uh, somewhere 90 shots over those two games. A lot of work for him. Uh, obviously, he, he did his job, but I guess uh, well, talk a little bit about him, him stepping into the role and moving the Lakers into this, at least getting to that. Well, I guess uh, early in the season we um, identified our, our one of our biggest needs as um, bringing two quality goalies in, and um, that's not to say we we didn't have uh, quality goalies here, but we just thought we could improve in that area. Um, I guess at December first, we we wanted to for sure bring in one and and make sure that uh, he was going to be here for the rest of the year, and that was Pierce and. Um, you know, we were fortunate enough to have Nathan kind of um, fall on our lap about mid-December and, and come in and, and they both um, played game after game and, and won hockey games for us. And so we knew uh, we had two quality goalies. I know Nathan kind of took over the number one role towards the end of the season and into the playoffs. And um, there was no doubt in our mind that um, when we needed Pierce to, I guess, step in and, and take over for Nathan in the semifinal game, we, we had quality in net, and, and we knew that uh, he could win us hockey games if we needed. And he proved that uh, um, last night, and, and tonight he, he stopped a lot of rubber for us to keep us in the hockey game and, and give us an opportunity to win. So for him to, to do that after, you know, basically playing maybe a uh, a period uh, or a game in a uh, period and a half uh, in the playoffs and, and a long break is uh, commendable for what he, what his ability is. Was the number of shots concerning at all? Well, we knew we, knew we were playing uh, two tough teams. We knew that they both um, like to bring the puck to the net. And um, obviously, uh, you want to limit their opportunities, but I don't think. Um, we gave up a lot of great A opportunities uh, um, tonight and, and especially last night. A lot of the shots were from the perimeter. Um, a lot of the shots were uh, even bad angle shots. So uh, I thought we did a good job for the most part defensively. And, and again, um, we just couldn't find uh, enough to get the job done. Uh, coach, uh, it's a I don't know about the number of games. You got to expect that coming into the tournament. And if you're not in first year and you want to win, you're going to have to play five in a row. So I think we were prepared for that. Um, I, I believe we were in a great condition to to go through the load if we had to. And, and I don't think that was a, um, a problem tonight as our conditioning. Um, you know, you can say what it is about injuries, but it's part of the game. And uh, it's just unfortunate maybe that it hit us hardest uh, uh, throughout the playoffs and, and this week. And, you know, we got we had, uh, you know, five guys that could be in our lineup and, and, and contribute at any time. And, um, again, it's unfortunate, but it's part of the game. And we had guys step up, and I thought our affiliate players uh, did a great job of filling in. And, and, and doing the job for us. Uh, 
Oh, well, obviously it was a little disappointing to lose in the finals, but I think even right now it's still an accomplishment for us to make it to the finals and lose by one goal in a tough, close game. But, yeah, I think it's an accomplishment. I'm proud of the boys for that. Some of them, um, I guess, we've been involved for three years, and um, through their career with uh, with the team, they're probably around uh, 125, 130 wins. So, um, what they've accomplished is uh, remarkable. Um, you know, they'll go down in, uh, to this point, and I guess the history of the the team as uh, um, the best team ever to wear a Lakers uniform. Um, the other 20s that we we brought in, uh, can't say enough about what they've done, whether it's uh, contributed as a, um, one of our top players or or contributed as a heart and soul kind of guy to our um, organization throughout the entire season. And, um, you know, many of them uh, day in and day out led the way. Uh, many of them, day in and day out, uh, um, showed great character, and, and that's that's what a team's all about. And those guys, uh, um, I guess, to have a saying of leaving footprints, they definitely have left uh, a lot of footprints to follow, as other guys have in past years, and um, they've set the bar high for uh, returning players or, or new coming players to achieve um, what they have and uh, for you know for why to accomplish what he did in this tournament really um, says a lot about his ability uh, guy like um, miles uh, every day on the ice is he, you, you see why he wears the seas uh, uh, guy that does anything it takes to win pays a price um, if I had to count how many shots he blocks in a year, um, it would be remarkable uh, and just lays his body on the line for the, the good of the team. So you can see the character of the 20 year olds, you know, it's obviously sad to have to say goodbye at some point, but um, again, it's part of hockey. Some of them are going to go on to be uh, great hockey players. Some of them are going to go on to be, um, you know, great men through through their uh, lives. So it's good to see. And do you have a strong nucleus to come back and take another match? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I guess at the end of the day, you have to see who wants to come back and who you're going to bring back after you sit down and dissect the team and where you need to improve. But um, we could return. Uh, you know, 17 guys if if everyone comes back. So you, you know, anytime you can return a number like that, you're you're looking good to to start a season and off in a good manner. Um, you know, both goalies could come back, which is uh, a huge start right there. You can build around that, and, and we have a lot of um, we only lose one defenseman if. If everyone returns and we have a lot of firepower still up front to, to get going, so 
we can surround uh, the nucleus of our team with some good recruits and we'll be headed in the right direction for next season. Thank you very much. Thanks.